So there's been an update for the coronavirus job retention scheme. Check out this video as I go through all of the details. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich. I'm here to grow your business and investments whilst reducing your tax liability. This video is proudly being sponsored by Persa Tax. So if you have any American and UK tax affairs, then Persa Tax can help you save tax across the Atlantic. Do check out their YouTube channel description in the below the video description. So click onto that and get some great tips from them. In this video though, I want to describe the update for the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme, otherwise known as CJRS. Um, now, I do talk about the HR matters, the legal matters, and we had an interview with Cheryl Willey from Peak HR. Great interview talking about all the do's and don'ts of the coronavirus furlough scheme. And do check out that video for details. Again, the URL will be in the description box. Uh, we did an update. Interesting enough that people had plenty of questions to ask about the furlough scheme and the legal, what you can do as an employer, what your rights are as an employee. Um, so again, do check out that update video as well. And I made a separate video to this, again, description video below, um, of how to make a claim against the coronavirus job retention scheme. That was a step-by-step -step guide, really useful to follow. And I will be putting underneath this uh, video description as well, a spreadsheet that talks about coronavirus job retention scheme for the claims that you can make across the various months. Now, please do note that we're talking about job retention scheme here, that this was available from the 1st of March and now has been extended to the end of October. Now, initially, it was the 80% of your salary and 2000 or 2500 which is uh, whichever was the lesser of. Now, that's been changed. There's been additions to that in terms of what you can, cannot claim. So we do need to look at those details. Um, also, the uh, the actual scheme was is open till the 30th of June. So if you want to make some furloughed, you need to do that before the end of June. Hence the reason the importance of this video and trying to get the message out there. Um, you can submit your uh, grant funding from the HMRC uh, every three weeks. Typically, you would do it monthly, though, because that's when you do your payroll, typically. Uh, and that makes life a little easier. Uh, from a HR matter, do check out those videos as I described earlier because they are so important to make sure you understand your rights as an employer and indeed as an employee, let's be fair. Um, but you do need to discuss the matter of being furloughed with uh, your employee if you're the employer and vice versa. You might be a director, that would be a really weird conversation looking in the mirror then interviewing yourself for furlough. You can make yourself furlough as a company director, but you need to make sure that you have no income coming through your company as a result of you being furloughed. It's not as though you can claim on furlough scheme if you are active in receiving income for the company. Um, and so it says there, you cannot be working whilst the HMRC are paying you for sitting at home. So make sure you don't do that. It can be classified as fraud. Now, what we had before was between March and July, we had this issue whereby 80% of the wages would be paid if indeed that was the, the lower than £2,500. If you was on a £70,000, £80,000 salary, then you would be limited to £2,500 per month. So it's not the full rate and it would only be 80% of that salary anyway. So it's the lesser of those numbers. Um, back in March to July, which is obviously we can make those claims even now, um, you could submit a return which includes your 3% uh, pension contributions, which is payable by HMRC, and employers' national insurance contributions as well would be being paid by this grant. So that's from March 2020 to July 2020. Things do change in uh, July though from that period of time that uh, you can bring in part-time 
into your workforce and HMRC will pay for the time that they're not being paid. So in that July submission, if you said, okay, you are typically working 40 hours, but we need you for 20 hours, then you could indeed pay them for the 20 hours and HMRC would then pay for the 20 hours that they're not working. In August, the amount of uh, claims that you can uh, make will be reduced, but not by much. The 2,500 or 80% of their salary, whichever again is the letter of, may be claimed from HMRC. But you will notice there is no 3% pensions and there is no national insurance employers element. So if you um, made those claims in your July, then clearly you will not be able to make the claims against your pension contributions or the employees NIC either in the August claim. The spreadsheet that's in the link description box below will help you to make that correct claim. Moving forward, you've got then September, October, and then November. So let's have a look at September. So the September rate uh, is no longer 80% or 2,500. It drops, uh, not by much, I have to say. It only drops by 10%. So you could still get 70% of the gross wages uh, or £2,187.50 whichever is the lesser of. Again, there are no pension contributions, allowances, or the employer's national insurance contributions either. So it's just the wages at place. In October, it goes down yet again to 60% of the gross wages or eight, oh, sorry, about say 8,000, uh, or 1,875 pounds. Again, whichever is the lesser of those two numbers. In November and beyond, it ends. So there can be no further claims for the coronavirus job retention scheme. I have no idea how I keep doing that without failing. So let's give it a try again. So the coronavirus job retention scheme does end in November. So you can't make any uh, claims in November or December, etc. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's been useful. Uh, do make sure that you use this spreadsheet with the link below the description box uh, and download that today. Um, if you've got any questions, as usual, do type your questions in. I will do my damnedest to get those answers to you within two days. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you do have any questions, talk about your tax planning for the next two to five years, then the link to book a call with me is again in the description box below this video. So hopefully everything's been useful. See you on the next video.